Hello friends! So, in the previous tutorials we have added some grappling attacks to our fighting game. We have also tuned up the camera and we have learned how to switch the game between a 2D and a 3D arena mode, which differs in Mortal Kombat and Tekken. Hope you are ready for the next episode. But first, while in this series we are creating a fighting game completely from scratch, there is a more professional way. It would actually take hundreds and thousands of working hours to create and test a production-ready fighting game like Mortal Kombat or Tekken, and it would cost a company hundreds of thousands of dollars. So, if it is your actual goal, and if this is why you started watching this video, I recommend you to still follow this tutorial series to get the in-depth understanding of the principles. But as the solution for your game, I would recommend using my true fighting game engine for Unreal Engine, which is available on Epic Store. It already implements features you may need in a AAA fighting game. You can easily manage multiple characters, attacks, combos and hit reactions through its blueprint system. It also provides a multiplayer support for local and network multiplayer fighting games. I am constantly working on improvements, so if you have an idea of your own fighting game, it is the best choice for you. You can find the link to the true fighting game engine in the description below this video. And now let's start with the tutorial. Today we are going to really quickly fix a little gamepad issue that we currently have. The next couple of tutorials will be dedicated to expanding keyboard and gamepad control to both fighters. So we will already have a prototype of a local multiplayer fighting game, where fighters can be controlled either by a keyboard on a gamepad or by two gamepads. And after we do all this preparation work, we will start rocking. We will add hit attacks and hit reactions, attack combos, blocks and counter attacks, finishers, graphic and sound effects, etc. So, let's begin. First of all, I have opened the project folder and let's first switch the Unreal Engine version to the latest one for this project. So, we right click the fighting game new project file and we select the switch Unreal Engine version and we switch it to 5.4 just because some bugs with the gamepad were fixed in this version. And now let's launch the project. Right. And now I enable my gamepad and you see. And let's check out how the game works. Do you remember we have added the inputs it is the game is currently in the, in the 2d mode and you know right now i'm controlling my character with the keyboard a and d keys but when i try to control it with my gamepad left thumb stick just just my character just walks for forward and then stops responding to any of the gamepad left thumbstick actions. So let's quit the game and let's also try to check it for our arena game. To do so we find settings in our outliner and we check the is arena do you remember this option and once again i run the game and right now i'm controlling with my keyboard and it works just fine and now i'm starting to control with my gamepad and i see that strange things are happening this is because uh, if you remember we have used the predefined uh, 
uh, input actions uh, and IMC default and the enhanced and the enhanced input action for the Unreal Engine and we just made some changes there but but it appears that we did not enough because let's because in our content drawer let's navigate to the content third person input and let's open the IMC default input mapping context which refers to our 3D arena game mode to the inputs and let's expand the IA move mapping and we have everything fine with our keyboard keys but when we expand the gamepad left thumb stick the 2d axis and we expand the modifiers we see a pretty strange modifier that was added here by default by the unreal engine editor uh, when we created our game from the third person game template and you see here is added here was added a scalar and what we want to do we just delete this scalar all right and let's see how our game part works now let's run the game and it appears to work but it misuses axis when i when i move my thumbstick vertical or up and down my fighter goes forward and backwards and and when i use the horizontal axis it goes left and right and it's and it's pretty simple and it's pretty simple to fix let's go again to our emc imc default and under the modifiers for the gamepad left thumbstick let's add a modifier and let's select here the swiss input axis values right and we save and let's check it out now uh-huh for the hor for the horizontal axis it works just fine but for the vertical axis it still misunderstands my input i would like to negate this input so once again we open the imc default and we add one more modifier and we negate for one uh, the input for one of our keyboard axis uh, i don't i'm not quite sure but as we swizzled input axis i believe we should negate it for the but let's just try let's first negate it for the x axis All right All right we run the game huh and yes it works so we have fixed everything and our gamepad works now just as intended let's try to attack uh -huh. i'm working i'm controlling my fighter with the gamepad now yeah it works just fine great and now just to test the things out let's disable the is arena mode uh, to switch to the 2d mode like a mortal kombat and once again i'm trying to test my gamepad and it still is not working as intended and you probably guess why because if you remember for the 2d game mode we are using we are switching in our fighter blueprint to this specific 
enhance it input map panel and we do almost the same for this for this input map in context we we expand the ii move my pen and we go all down and we expand the gamepad left thumbstick hit x axis all right and we remove this color and we add the swizzle axis input axis values all right and i believe we also should negate our x-axis so just in case i have mistaken we'll test it out right now all right and let's save everything and let's run the game and i get my game part Uh -huh. yeah and it works just as we want to do so it was a really quick video and that's it for today next time you will learn how to control both fighters uh, so we will actually have a local multiplayer fighting game where two users can play using a keyboard and a gamepad or using two gamepads and after we do all this preparation work we will finally start tracking and we will add a hardcore hitting attacks and combos and counter, counter attacks and hit reactions and special effects so we will create a really appealing fighting game and all of this from scratch remember it will be your own fighting game but if you want to create your production ready game without much effort you can check out my true fighting game engine project for unreal engine 5 it implements all the possible features which you may need to create your own game quickly and with no effort and implement a network game network multiplayer game or a game where player fights with an ai fighter or when two player use a multiplayer player use a multiplayer mode on the same machine so that's it for today see you next time and goodbye.